Pinnacle Arts in Plymouth Barbican has moved from the centre of the house that Jack built to the back. Join their launch weekend on the 23rd and the 24th of April and join their free raffle. And the new man in the gallery is Roger Yeoman and I'm just catching up with him now. <coughs> oh, Roger, how are you? Oh, good afternoon, Chris. How are you? So you're Very Roger well. Yeoman? I'm Roger Yeoman, yes. So how long have you been in Plymouth? Well, I'm um, in Plymouth. Um, in general. Well, I've only been in Plymouth about uh, two years. Yeah. Yeah. So where were we before then? Uh, we moved down from Scotland, uh, down to Launceston, uh -huh. and then moved back up to Plymouth. So what brought you to Plymouth? Um, relations, uh -huh. you know, elderly relations. And Not the geography and the, art and the arts? Uh, and that, no, no, no. So how long have you been painting? I've been painting about um, 11 years, on and off. And how did you get into painting? Um, really just as a relaxation from the work I was doing, offshore work. From the stress? And uh, a bit of stress relief. Because yes. you were in management, weren't you? Um, yeah, I was running my own company. Uh -huh. So, um, a lot of your uh, paintings are on the landscape from your travels. Yeah, most of my work was in uh, Aberdeen and um, Norway. You've got slight Scottish accent. Uh, and, um, and also did quite a bit of work in, in, in Norway and Canada. So, uh, a lot of the memories, painting wise, came from there. So you've got work in the Gallery on the Hoe? Gallery on the Hoe, I had an invite to show there. Uh, have you just moved into the brand new Pinnacle Arts? We've, we've just moved into Pinnacle Arts a uh, fortnight ago, which is uh, hopefully going to be very lucrative. So what work have you got in here? <laughs> um, well, just uh, some paintings at the moment, which is landscape. Um, Do you want to just go through them, if you don't mind? <laughs> yes, this is uh, like from the Norway um, uh, work I was doing, memories there of... Um, some of the fjords. What's the mountain? Which was really nice. I've no idea. Uh -huh. uh, it's just it's just a nice uh, mountain. Yeah. Um, this one was Canada, and that's in the um, the Banff area of Canada. The Beautiful other, rock is. Yeah. Beavers and um, wild bear and everything. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess I didn't see any, but the scenery was fantastic, really. Uh -huh. Yeah. So and, what's this uh, one? This was an estuary in, in uh, again in Scotland. Um, <clears throat> And uh, trying to come out of the box a little bit, come away from mountains, and uh, and get into something else. Uh, this was uh, Ashness Landings in um, Cumbria uh -huh. uh, on Derwent Water, yeah. uh, which, which is a lovely place again. You like the violet, violet tones, don't you? Well, that's well, that, is that new? Uh, again new, but something I thought you know might um, might be a bit attractive for just for a, a change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you uh, influenced okay, this by is, this is Scotland. This is um, north of Aberdeenshire. Uh -huh. So are you influenced by any artists? Sorry. Were you influenced by any artists? Was I influenced by any artists? Um, not really. <laughs> not really. Just found a penchant for for scenery and um, thought that's the way I like to go. Uh -huh. But um, down here, obviously, come out the box a little bit, and um, <clears throat> I thought I might try some sea, some seascapes and things and. Um, that's just one of the out of the box ones that that happened. Um, being on the coast here, everybody seems to yeah. to like the coastal stuff. So um, that's what I'm I'm looking to kind of further. Well, it's a good place to be in Plymouth Barbican, just as it is Abs on, absolutely. On, on the hoe as well. Oh, absolutely. I think so. I so think, good luck uh, with your showcase here. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Cheers.
contact Roger, Roger Yeoman, that's Roger, Y-E-O-M-A-N, at AOL.com. This has been a customer for media production in 2016, promoting the arts in film. You can contact me, sponsor me, and support me through PayPal at ChristopherSinfield at gmail.com. 